Hi guys, we're the K3 and this is our Astro Corner for Libra. I'm really excited about this one because we kind of put down the like just the signs ones that we've done and we did a few um, uh, synastry ones, which are always really fun, but I love just looking at people's charts in general. So we're going to look at some of our favorite Libras. There's a bunch of K-drama Libras that we love, but it's really interesting. This group that we picked that we kind of were like our favorites or like some of the most popular Libras out there have so much Scorpio energy. It's really fascinating because that Scorpio energy is <laughs> All right. Yes, it is. Get it. So let's dive in. <laughs> Quick Libra recap. So Libras are September 23rd through October 23rd. The element is air, ruler is Venus, and energy is cardinal and balanced. First up is Song Sang Hyun, and he was born October 5th, 1976. And he's got a he's got a he's got a really interesting chart. So he basically is a Libra sun. He is a Pisces moon which gives him a just a soft soft heart which was which you can see oh. it but I was a little I was really kind of surprised. Oh. Uh, he is a Virgo Mercury, a Scorpio Virgo Venus, Mercury. right? And then a oh. Libra Mars. That explains a lot. That right? A lot. And then his north node is over in Scorpio. So he's got that scorpionic energy oh. that he's working towards and he's got it in his ver in his Venus. So that whole, all of the way he relates to you is going to be scorpionic. It's going to be deep. It's going to be, he's going to want to go deep. He's going to want to get in there and just kind of like, it's hot. He has so much he's charisma so on So much charisma. And oh. with that being said, the thing that's really amazing to me is he also has what's called a conjunction with Libra and Pluto. And so his son, his son and Pluto so who he is and flew the planet Pluto, which essentially is the planet that pretty much is, 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 the, is the power planet. Oh. So anything that Pluto touches in your chart is going to be, it's, you're going to go deep. It's very scorpionic in its, in its influence because it's going to go deep. It's going to clear out what's not working for you. And you're going to end up with this power. If you can, if you can work with the, with the energies well, you can basically like rise like a phoenix and like a brand new person. And it'll give you a very intense focus of um, uh, and be like, be, because it's his son, he's going to be very admired and want to be recognized. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely what he is. So that all that swagger of his yeah. is you got that you got that Scorpio <laughs> over here in the Venus. And then you've got this moon. I'm sorry, the sun Pluto conjunction, please. Oh, my gosh. He is. And, and then you got that. <laughs> you got a Pisces moon, which gives him that little soft heart that we all like. Yeah. He's like he was. He was, he was born for this job oh, <laughs> so he really much because he can. He can tap into all of that shit that we love in our K-dramas. Yeah. And we liked him best in. Oh, my God. I liked him the best in The Player. The Player. <sighs> oh. oh. So he was the boss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was. Absolutely. <laughs> but playing different. Oh, it just makes so much sense, uh -huh. right? Because it was so enjoyable. But, you know, he would play these different characters for these different cons. Yep. So much fun. And he does have kind he's got a nice combination. So he's got Libra, he's got so he's got air, he's got water, he's got earth. The only thing he's kind of lacking, we don't have a, a, a birth time, so we don't have a rising sign. The only thing he's kind of lacking is fire. And but he's got all of those other pieces to it. So he's definitely got all those flavors to play with. Uh -huh. And most of us do have all those flavors to play with, but he's got a, an emphasis in the in the air and the earth and the water. And so yeah, especially the Libra water, that's th that's a very um the other air signs, we've talked about this before, but Aquarian and Gemini are very mental in the way they communicate and the way they see the world. Mm -hmm. And Libra is a very much a mental, but it's the way they relate to people. So again, it becomes more of that relationship type of energy. So it's a much more of a feeling kind of energy. So he's definitely got that kind of like feminine side to him that I think is what makes his swagger so much more effective. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because I think I yeah. read that his decision to take a show like The Player, which was really which was a big success, I believe, was that you know, when he lightened up, you know, that's when he really kind of hit this amazing um, kind of stride with K-dramas. Yeah. So, because he looks quite serious. Yes. And he looks quite tough. Mm -hmm. um, but there's something about this added comedy flair that just yeah. is like, Aces. Absolutely. Well, he's got he's got the uh, he's got the Libra. So the Libra mm -hmm. is going to give you a little bit more. It's going to be a little lighter. But you, when you combine that with the with that with that Pluto conjunction, it's going to mm -hmm. make that Scorpionic kind of like darker. So he probably just started to tap into more of that type of stuff, which is yeah. and a squishy squishy he's got a squishy Pisces heart. It's ah. a little, 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 little sun moon. That's all good. Yes. Oh my God. He's. I can't wait for his next one. It's coming up soon too. I oh, is I just forgot what it was, but it's with um 
It's with our crash landing on you, uh, second lead. Oh, Amen. right. Oh, oh. Ooh. It's going to be. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, look and that. I think, I think EG. Oh, right. <laughs> so <good>. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, probably my all time girl crush in yeah. K drama land. And I found her watching Sense8, so not even in a K drama. Right. But I love Faye Duna so, so, so much. Mm -hmm. It was destiny. It really was. She was born October 11, 1979. And so she is another one that's got this Libra-Pluto conjunction. And I think we see huh. that as well. We see that powerful personality come through everything. It's a softer variation of it because it's the Libra, yeah. but it's still, you cannot not pay attention to her. And it's that Libra-Pluto combo that is just like, I'm here. I don't have to be big and loud, but you, you will <laughs> damn notice me. Uh -uh. And she's got that. She's got a Gemini moon. She's got the Scorpio here in her in her Mercury. So the way she's going to talk to you, the way she's going to communicate with you is going to be that deep Scorpionic, like penetrating, you know, gaze to talk to you and really get into what you're doing. And she's in spades, man. She's got that down. Like, oh, her in sense eight, the times that she would have those conversations with people. Oh, it was, she was so Yes, good. she was everyone's touchstone. She like, really was. Her. Every oh, time. So and that's what was so good. And then she's got her, her Venus is in Libra and her Mars is in Leo. So she's got a little bit of that flair of like, you have to pay attention to me. So she's going to need, she's going to take action. And it's that, like, even in Sense8, when she was fighting people and she mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, she knew she mm -hmm. was good. But also the tenacity in Stranger slash yeah, Secret Forest. exactly. Yeah. And Kingdom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. But again, kind of going with what you said about uh, Sung Sung Hyun, mm -hmm. uh, it's a lighter... It's yeah. It's there, but she's got a little light touch that gives it that keeps things from being like a slog, <laughs> right? And she keeps things where you're like, oh my god, that was so much fun, even though it was a very serious subject, or even though it's like zombie before. Is it yes. like I enjoyed watching that yeah. ass kicking? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As opposed to ooh, that was a bad. Like you're like, oh god, <laughs> yeah. Like you're like, yeah. <laughs> like she's definitely got that for sure. And then she's got a North Node in Virgo, conjunct her Black Moon Lilith. So who she is, oh, who she wow. wants to be, who she's working towards in this lifetime and who, what her innate femininity is, conjunct. Ah. And so the more she plays to that, the more, the more life is going to be good for her. And I think she's been playing into that for quite some time because yeah. she seems to have been doing fairly well. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. but I do, it's, it's, it's that, uh, the, and the Virgo energy is earth. So it's earth mother. It's, it's, mm -hmm. you know, a hearth and home and health and making sure and kind of a perfectionist and making sure that all your t's are crossed and all your eyes are dotted like yeah. so she's you can see that and like especially like in stranger and in you know and, and in sense eight, you can eight. see those things and so yeah it's definitely i love it when you can kind yeah. of play with those and see where that is and she's the muse for the house of louis vuitton like because right. they recognize in her this international mm -hmm. superstar right she brings all of this with her and yeah. that she's so, so so much of an icon in terms of fashion and style. Right. Yeah. And you, you, you don't, and, but yet she's, um, she's not bombastic about mm -hmm. it. No. And I think that that must be what they love about her because, um, you know, she transcends borders that way. She really does. And I will say really that I think the non-bombastic yeah. is all that Virgo energy she has. Uh, okay. Like Virgo, uh, we, we know we're right. <laughs> And we will say that, <laughs> but at the end of the day, we also are like, it, it's okay. okay. It's, yeah, we, we aren't, we aren't going to like, we're not, we're, we very rarely toot our own horns about it. I got too much Leo in my chart to not toot, toot my own horn. So that's, that's where, that's where the conflict comes to me. Cause as soon as I say it, I'm like, oh, you're such an ass, Jen, don't do that. Uh, and that's but that Virgo right. energy, you know? And so that's what happens, but she's got, that's what she's got. She's got Libra, she's got Gemini, she's got Scorpio and she's got Leo. And then she's got the Virgo North node. So she's got all of it. So she's got this really nice, calm, she's not really lacking in anything in her personal planets. So I think she does, that's why she does, she relates to all these different four corners. She kind of does that four corner thing where mm. she relates to everybody internationally because she's yeah. got a little bit that, that people can recognize in her. Yeah, because she was mm. also in matrimonial chaos. Yes. <laughs> Which was a really so interesting right. drama. Right. Yeah. Yeah, about a, mar a couple of marriages falling apart. And she so. was she was riveting to watch, even though she was like, she, at, at first she was like just this kind of spastic, you know. Right, but she's so relatable. So relatable. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, she's so good. I love, oh, so I love her. Hey. And another one of our favorite Libras. I mean, girls, <laughs> Your favorite. she's probably my favorite, right? Uh, next, next to Bader. 
Like they're both Libras, which I find really interesting that my really? two favorite K travel girls are Libras. It's very fascinating. Um, but she is a October 19th, 1992. And we've kind of covered her a little bit in some of our other uh, shows. 92. 92, right? Yeah. Did you say <laughs> her name? I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, just, she's so Kim young. Ju okay. Kim Ju Won, yeah. Yeah, so it's 1992. I'm still amazed at how young she is just because of Descendants of the Sun. Like, what was she, 12 when she was in that? <laughs> so. And I loved her so much with Jingu. Like, I was like, She's like, I was like, that was my ride or die relationship, the, the right? The phrase wise beyond her years yeah. comes oh, to mind. Yeah. Exactly. So, and this is, so I, what's think, in her this is I think, why. She has got so much Scorpio in her chart. Mm -hmm. And Scorpio really is one of the more challenging um, signs to have in your chart. And so I find it really interesting that so far all of them have a little dash of it. She's got a lot of it. And so a lot of people who have a lot of Scorpio in their chart come to this, come to, come to this lifetime with, with so much um, like deep knowledge that that's why they want to share it. And wow. so that's where it comes from. And I, I, I do, I find that she does, she's just got, she's wise beyond her years and you're just kind of like, Whoa, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Okay, you're how old? Uh, and but she's got a Scorpio. She's got a Scorpio Mercury and a Scorpio Venus. Mercury. Oh. Yes. And then she's got a Pluto, and she's got the Pluto conjunct that. So she's got like a double whammy of of Scorpio energy because her Pluto is also in Scorpio. That whole generation has Pluto in Scorpio, mm -hmm. which means that they're not only going deep, they're going dark and deep. Like they're 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 destroyers of worlds to make sure that their life is going to run the best way possible. And so hers is Ooh. then conjunct. Her Mercury, the way she communicates, and yeah. her Venus, the way she relates to people. So she's going to add that little extra boost of power to mm -hmm. both of those Scorpionic vibes. And so I think that's what we see, especially like in, in the um, Arth Dal Chronicles, right. for sure. When she was like beating the crap out of Jingu every time he would like avoid her and like yelling at her dad. Like we were all like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? So Arth Dal Chronicles is coming back for another season, mm -hmm. which is really interesting because her character has this... You know, she's mystical, yes. um, but she doesn't hasn't quite come into her power yet. Mm -hmm. so, ooh, oh, yeah. Ooh. And so once she does, oh boy, watch oh out. Boy. She also is a, Lib so she's a Libra sun because we're caught talking about Libras. Um, and her moon is either a Cancer moon or a Leo moon. And I think we had this conversation before, but I feel like she's a Leo moon because all that That's power, it. she also is like, and pay attention to me. <laughs> I'm super powerful and I'm amazing. And so I think she's definitely got a bit of that Leo flair where it's like... Yes. Yeah, oh, I know. And so I, that's why I think she is because she's then her Mars is in cancer. So we've already got that cancer, a little soft heartedness mm -hmm. going on for her, which gives her those softer moments that work. So mm -hmm. I do. I feel like even though she's got the Scorpio, it gives her the harder edge. I think the Leo makes it a little lighter. Otherwise, I think she'd be almost too dark. Ah. So the light Leo kind of lightens her up a little bit, especially mm -hmm. if it's her emotional place. Yeah. That's going to help her out a little bit. Oh, interesting. Because Fight My Way, mm -hmm. so for her, the character started off very light mm -hmm. and not grounded at all right. and she came into her own mm -hmm. so that was yeah yeah really compelling that show oh yeah i love that one the one thing to point out though if she is a leo if she is a leo um moon it's gonna that leo moon squares her mercury and her venus so there's gonna be a little bit of a push pull there with those energies so i think that also that also makes a little bit more sense to me than the cancer which would trine it and it would all like be super smooth and easy going oh, which i yeah. don't Mm -hmm. I don't feel like emotionally she's as even keeled as a trine emotionally to her, to those two planets. So, but th again, those are up for debate. So, you know, have that. <laughs> we don't have a birth time, so we can't really get a full, a full idea of that. But I do. I, I'm, I'm totally team uh, Leo Moon. And I'm a Leo Moon. So I think that's why, because I love her so much. Like, I think <laughs> uh, that's just Leo Moon talking to Leo Moon. And I'm, it's resonating. I'm sticking with that theory. And then we've got uh, So Kong Jun, and he is currently in uh, I Will Find You When the Weather is Nice, or I Will Find You on a Pretty Day. <laughs> on a Beautiful Day. Beautiful Day, something AKA, like that. Yeah. AKA. So he's, he's kind of the man of the hour right now, which is really exciting. And he, again, is a Leo. He, I'm not a Leo. He's a Libra, but he has either a Leo moon or a Virgo moon. He's one of those that is, is questionable. And then he's got he's got a bunch of Scorpio in his chart as well. He has had a Scorpio. Really? Yeah, they all have so much Scorpio. So I'm fascinated by this. I really, yeah. really am because they all are so compelling to watch as actors. They've all got that underlying mm -hmm. kind of like intensity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then they've got this Libra. Yeah. Like buff polish over it. So it's this really interesting huh. thing because Libra wants things to be equal. They want things to, people to get mm -hmm. along. They want the balance Harmony, of it all. Balance. But Scorpio is like, <laughs> like table flipping so energy, funny. right? Yeah. 
And so I think it's the, I, I think the reason that they're so popular is because you see that these, as actors, they've got those two sides to them. Mm-hmm. And when it melds together, it's like, it's so good. So he's got that. Then he's also, his, he's got a Virgo um, uh, Venus. So again, he's got that little bit more of that grounded practical side to him as mm-hmm. well. So if he's got the Virgo moon and the Virgo Venus, then he's got the super, and I, I think I kind of, I lean towards Virgo moon, Virgo Venus, because I feel emotionally in all the dramas I've seen him in, it's been very, the, the dramas have not been, I, I think they've been played for high drama, but mm-hmm. he as an actor has played them kind of under. Yeah, I think definitely in um, Watcher. Yes. Because his character could have really been out of control, right? angry, off the rails, yeah. trying to find um, uh, the corruption mm-hmm. and who killed who and killed his father and his father. Blah. So, but he didn't. He mm-hmm. wasn't off the rails. He was really kind of controlled. Yeah. Um, but also really emotional, but in a real sense. Does yeah. that make sense? Absolutely, so, yeah. it does, and I uh-huh. think yes. that to me screams Not more Virgo, sense. Virgo moon, more yeah. of a Virgo emotional core than a Leo emotional core, where it's just like, <laughs> Leo, pay attention like... to me, oh my god, I'm in so much pain. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just, that, I, I, your argument is, yeah. So I just, sound. I could be wrong, but I feel that's that's my argument. Yeah, because we that. liked him so much in oh Watcher, god, especially so coming off the disaster that was Third oh Charm. My god. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> oh my god, so bad. And wasn't he in one of the robots? shows too. No. Yeah. Oh, was oh, he? Yeah. Was yeah. he in one of the... Oh, he was. He was in one of the first robot shows. Yes, he was. I didn't watch it. Of course. No, I didn't. He, but he was absolutely... Um, I, the little bits of it that I did watch. Um, beautiful eyes, by the way. I don't mm-hmm. know if there's anything about in his chart about that. <laughs> um, he's just so... He's very practical as yeah. the robot mm-hmm. and very intent on... Mm-hmm. But not... He wasn't like, I'm a robot and I'm malfunctioning. He's yeah. like, I'm something <laughs> something's not right. Something I need, but I need right. to fix it. So. Right. And so, yes, even well, as a robot. I mean, <laughs> Virgos definitely are more robotic than Leo's, for sure. <laughs> I definitely agree with that assessment, for sure. And so he's got this uh, Scorpio, he's got a Scorpio, Mercury and Venus conjunct, right? So it's going to give him like a really intense mental energy. Ooh. And so because of that, I think, again, we see that. But then you got that Libra Virgo overlay over it and it softens it up a little bit. So mm. he's not like, like in your face all the time, like crazy town. Well, he's another one who seems much more mature than his age. He's 26. Yeah. He's actually younger than Kim, Kim Ji-won. Ji-won. So yeah. he's even younger than her. And again... She, much uh, seems to me much older than than his yeah. than his years for, for sure. sure. So again, that scorpionic energy just really it just turns whatever you've got like up to like a ten, right? And so when you got it in a personal planet, mm-hmm. it just gives you that it factor that a lot of people you can't really describe it, but I feel like the Scorpio energy it, it really it's there, <laughs> right? It's so juicy, like it's right? just so juicy. You get to. If people, it's just people are just instantly drawn to that because it's it's kind of it's mysterious and it's dark and it's mm-hmm. like something you shouldn't you shouldn't <laughs> yeah. want to like, like but you do like and it's just that it's that, oh, that yeah. bad boy energy yes. that bad girl energy that mm-hmm. we're all kind of drawn to but then when you when you play with it with other energies in the mix it can soften it or it can heighten it mm-hmm. and so I, I'm really it's, I'm fascinated when I was looking at all their charts it was really fascinating to me that they all had like heavy scorpionic energy. And so then I had to just look at, because uh, you can't talk Libra without talking Hyunbin. Like, he is, he's the Libra <laughs> of, of, of K-drama, this. right? And um, and we talk about, we've talked about him in a bunch of videos on this thing with his astrology, with um, synastry mostly. But mm. like if you really look at his chart, and one thing we've always talked about is whether he is a Capricorn moon or a Sag moon. And I have officially come <laughs> down on the side that he is a Sagittarius Sag. moon. And this is why. The chemistry he had with Sun Yijin was so amazing. And it was the exact kind of juggernaut chemistry he had with Kim Sun Suna and Ha Ji Wan, who are an Aries moon and a Sag moon. So they were all fire moons. Oh. So if you take that moon energy and he trines with all of that, those are all the big ones. I really, truly believe he's a Sag moon there. Because that that chemistry was so big and so good. That is undeniable. And that is just such a, it's such a, 
it's not something you can explain because it's just, it's an emotional thing. It's such mm -hmm. a visceral experience. And th those three shows were such visceral experience yeah. for all K-drama viewers. Right. That, that is what, that is, I am, I'm staking, I'm st putting my flag down on it. I, I fully, fully believe he is a Sag Moon. And for the, sure. And the little that I've learned from you. Yes. And having done our charts uh -huh. many, many moons ago. Yes. No pun intended. Um. He's a lot of Scorpios. I will. I know what you mean about like, ooh, that's dark. I'm uh -huh. like, ooh, but kind of scary. I should stay away. Uh -huh. There's something about Hyun Bin where I'm like, oh, Lisa, that, what is that? And yeah. I'm not uh -huh. compelled to run away. But what's really interesting about that, he has no Scorpio in his first five. Ah. He does none of his first five. But what I did look at, because I was like, oh, interesting. He has no Scorpio, but there is something compelling about him. What he where he does have Scorpio, and it's the only place he's got Scorpio in his in his you know his basic natal chart is in Jupiter. So Jupiter expands everything. Oh. So it's going to make that scorpionic energy bigger. And his his oh, his Scorpio then trines to his Venus. And so that is going to amplify his relationship mm -hmm. like energy for lack of a better word. So that is what and even though it's in Virgo, so it's a much more controlled energy uh -huh. it's that scorpio Vir it's a scorpio it's the it's the virgo scorpio combination which is a really good combination and so you've got because they're sextile and so it they kind of play off each other so the water plays with the earth and the earth mm -hmm. plays with the water and so that is what i think you're seeing it's just oh, that okay. touch of the so scorpio so that's what fascinates me about that because he's Maybe got that's swagger that's yeah. but he doesn't have <laughs> he doesn't have that 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 Sung Sung uh, Hyun oh, swagger. Different kind of it's swagger. a completely different swagger. And yeah. I think his swagger comes more from that Sag, Just feels which like a is grounded confidence. Well, you got he's he's he is a double Virgo. He's a, he's a double Leo mm -hmm. and a double Sag. And so you've got this need to balance everything, which is not grounded per se, but it needs to be balanced ah. with this. I'm going to go my own route. But if you want to go, great. If not, I'm good. So he's got <laughs> this kind of energy of. That and then you throw in that Virgo Venus where he wants to relate to you on a like a practical level, like that's what I think is his mm. biggest stuff. So yeah, so I found it really interesting. But I did, I I really was looking for his Scorpio, and it's the only Scorpio he's got. It's just the Jupiter, but that expands. It's an okay. expansive energy for him. So all that needing to go deep and that need to to you know even his to have fun because Jupiter is a kind of a a fun planet like all of that is going to be on that scorpionic side which is going to give him that little like glint in his eye yeah. that he gets when he, when he yeah <laughs> i think you really see that in his film roles yeah like oh. in uh rampant mm -hmm. but in the negotiation yes. for sure and um the swindlers mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, the one i was thinking yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you totally see that mm -hmm. because he gets he gets to get a little bit darker in those yes. roles yeah and that he but gets to tap into glint. that but it's a glint oh, cool. it's kind of like he enjoys it <laughs> Yeah. Because it's fun. Because Jupiter is a fun planet. It's not like Pluto, where he's like, Ugh. <laughs> it's Pluto. You're like, you're yeah, not Pluto. It's Jupiter. It's like, this is fun. Let's go have fun. Let's expand it. So he's expanding that like fun. So that's the glint. Nice. So he's got more of a glint than a swagger. But yeah, it's there for sure. I like the glint. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, you guys. There it is. Libra astro Thank astro you, corner John. style. So got yeah. questions on here. Again, we do not have a rising for any of these because we don't have birth time. So it does that changes a lot of the dynamic. But this is just kind of the basic energy that they would have in their chart. All right, you guys, we're the K3. I'm Jim. I'm Karen. I'm Marissa. And if you want to look at any of those uh, sinistry ones, we do have on Kung Bin. They're right here. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.